The first thing we want to do is download GUI Designer from the Command Fusion website so that we can create our graphical user interfaces and define the Aspen system as an IP device with an IP address and a port number. So go to the Command Fusion website, which is commandfusion.com. Once you're there, go to the download section, click on the button, and what you'll need to do for the first time is uh, you will have to create an account. So if I were to click on Command Fusion GUI Designer Installer, uh, the current version is 2.3.1.13, which was uploaded on June 5th. If I click on that, it will tell me that uh, you need to have an account to download the software, which is fine. So to create an account for the first time, click on Register Your Account Now. And at this point, you would enter your email address, password, confirm password, all the typical things you need to do to create an account. Click on the Create Account button and a new account will be created for you and you can log in at that time. Okay, now click on Command Fusion GUI Designer Installer and it'll ask you where you want to save the file. I'll click on Save File and you can have it go to your Downloads folder or wherever you like. And now the file will begin to download. Now before you install GUI Designer, notice some of the other resources that are available to you. You have free GUI Designer templates for iViewer. You have AMX module, which is still currently in beta. You have Crestron modules, Crestron samples. You have a iViewer developer's manual and a user guide, and also support for Winamp controller. So all of these things are very useful and download them and have a look at them and play with them if you will. What we're going to be doing is using a pre-built library that you've downloaded from Electrosonics website and that has buttons, windows, sliders so that you can quickly create an interface to control the Aspen product. The other option that you have, if you go to my account, you'll notice that you can buy a license for the iPad or iPhone. This will allow you to have more than one landscape page and more than one portrait page. Now you'll notice down here that iViewer will display a single portrait and single landscape page for free, meaning you don't have to pay anything. However, I feel that you're going to find that uh, you're going to want to extend your interface with all the power that uh, you'll be able to unleash so this is the process you would go through. You click on the Order Licenses button. There's a process where you purchase the license, register the device, and then you'll receive a registration code that you can then implement into GUI Designer, and I will be showing that in another video. Now let's install the Command Fusion GUI Designer. Here's the downloaded file, the setup executable. Let's double click on that. Uh, I want to run this and it's going to go through the install process. I'll click Next. I will accept the agreement after having thoroughly read it, of course. And then I will click Next. And it will select the location to install it. Next again. And it will create a shortcut. Next. And let's actually do the install now. and it's very uh, very quick let's finish and now we are ready to go let's launch the application I'll go to the start menu all programs we will notice that we have command fusion I'll select GUI designer and this will launch the program for the first time okay I want to bring the program to the center it asks me uh, it tells me there's a, a current version I have 2312. Let's go with that for now. You can always upload the current version if you like, or download it if you will. Let's click on No, and I will extend the window. The next section will be loading the Electrosonics GUI elements, the uh, buttons and windows and so forth, and going over the interface. At this point, go to the next section. GUI Designer Interface Basics.